something else I love doing with kids is uh, the popcorn game. So I ask them to take a few pieces of popcorn like this to look at it, really look at it and see what kind of animals or monsters are within the popcorn. So for example, that one looks to me a little bit like a horse. And uh, this one could be, gosh, I don't know. Sometimes they just look like popcorn though. And what I am going to try and do over the next two weeks, and perhaps longer, depending on the schools, is I'm going to try and create a, what I'm going to call creative bursts. So they will be videos with associated downloadables, uh, lots of games, quizzes, and writing uh, exercises that people can do at home with their children. And I'm very lucky in the Mali Museum of Literature Ireland have come on board to support it and they are going to put up everything online and it'll all be completely free. Some of the things we're going to be doing are, uh, every family I think has a box or a, a pot of little uh, toys, like little handmade toys, and I'll be inviting you to choose two toys and make them have a little talk to each other and make up a story around the little dialogue or conversation. Another thing I like to do is to get a box of all kinds of bits and pieces. And I ask um, uh, young writers to respond to the prompts. If you're very, very arty and crafty, um, this is just a little house with a little person in it and it's all created from recycled bits and bobs this um so and then i'll ask uh, children to write a story about who lives in this little house so i believe wholeheartedly that creative children are happy children and i think at the moment there's an awful lot going on and we as adults are soaking it in and children are also soaking it in and writing and art and creating things gives children and everyone parents too a chance to kind of explore that anxiety in a safe way on the page um, and that's what i would really like to encourage like exploring and playing and being creative as a family